Hello, my name is Adriana Bankston. I'm currently the CEO and managing publisher for the Journal of Science Policy and Governance. And JSPG collaborated on a certificate program offered by the University of California Irvine GPS STEM program, also in collaboration with the Union of Concerned Scientists and Rich Tarif. We offer the program two years in a row, and today we'll present the results from the program in this, this poster, engaging early career researchers in science policy and advocacy through innovative virtual training mechanisms for bridging the gap between science and society. So certificate program was offered for two years in a row. We um, students received a certificate, uh, as you can see. The course format was 10 learning modules of one and a half hours each. We had expert speakers. We have had active learning and breakout rooms and shared um, recordings of discussions for further learning. Course participants including, included majority PhD students and postdocs, as well as some research staff, uh, pol one policy professional, and also undergraduate. Um, but mainly the audience was for PhD students and postdocs interested in policy. There were a number of certificate requirements, such as a podcast summary, a elevator pitch video, a STEM education survey, a policy writing piece, one page talking points, informational interview with policymakers, a power mapping plan and the public engagement plan to help really teach trainees how to write policy and how to pitch their research to policymakers. Course organizers uh, included myself, um, Harinder Singh and Melissa Varga from UCS. And we also had coordinators and um, uh, other collaborators that we, we thank as well, um, that you can see in the bottom left. Clebea Carvello, Ria Deshpande, Jia Jung Liang, Melania Abramanian, and Joanne Lee, who created uh, the graphics. The curriculum itself, as I said, it included a number of different sessions. Um, you can see here module number two, scientific research policy, which included um, introductions by Kei Koizumi, who is now at OSTP, and a number of professionals in science policy. We focused on writing policy pieces, uh, as well as some education and workforce development and a number of other sessions. Um, we focused on advocacy strategies for policymakers, fellowships. Um, we had a session on AAAS fellowships um, for students to, to discuss um, and network with fellows. And we also talked about local engagement and um, state fellowships. We had an elevator pitching session, which um, allowed participants to um, pitch their research um, to policymakers. And uh, training was provided by Brie MacArthur from Activate to Captivate, um, which was a great session as well. So you can see here a list of activities, which I've already described, um, which really sought to provide both writing and oral instruction to students in the form of uh, one pager, power mapping plans, um, writing different policy pieces such as memos and OPEDs, and being able to network with professionals. We also interviewed these professionals for a science policy podcast from GPS Time, which you can see here, and we encourage you to, to listen to those episodes. Among the program deliverables included a science policy YouTube channel, which um, is available and you can subscribe to it for content uh, that we have added from both years. Interestingly, we also held a policy elevator pitch competition, which uh, you can see here, it was a great event um, with expert judges and we had three prizes, cash prizes, uh, from the finalists, and that's something that uh, students appreciated as well. Moreover, um, we had um, a number of students that transitioned successfully into science policy careers um, or fellowships. Um, so we had Crystal Villfranc and Jacqueline Brennan, who uh, both um, are uh, or were um, fellows in 2021, uh, Mass Media and Congressional Fellowship. 
Coman Said, who um, was a Tristan Merzain Fellow in 2021 with the National Academies. Uh, Cha Jung Liang, who um, founded the Science Policy and Advocacy Network at UCI. And then we also had Ravindra Palavari Natimi, who published an op-ed um, on sustainable development um, for Center for Publishing in the journal and Ali Bilegas, um, who is currently an associate editor for the journal. So it really um, shows that um, the course provided a wealth of professional development opportunities for students and that they're able to use this experience um, to transition into other roles in policy. We also wanted to share the course satisfaction, um, which is very high in a number of areas, uh, which you can see here, uh, different sessions, um, and um, nice to see that, and, and we're looking to um, offer this course again. So finally, I just want to thank um, all of the collaborators again. Uh, bottom left, you can see who they are, but we also had other folks um, who helped shape the content of the course and participated in different sessions. So I wanted to acknowledge Belinda Gormley, Mark Bayer, Christopher Pickett, Shailen Jatishi, Donovan Gutierrez, and Bernat navarro Serrer. Additionally, we also want to thank Sal Nera, who is JSPG's former director of communications, um, who promoted the course um, throughout, uh, as well as after the course was finished. And also Joanne Lee from GPSM, who provided um, really beautiful graphics as well as the logo. Um, so we really appreciate her contribution as well. So with that, I'm happy to take any questions. We're happy to share um, the website and the YouTube channel. And again, please continue engaging with us um, as we offer this course again in the future. Thank you.